everybody and welcome back to Plastic Models by Regular Dude. Today I'm going to do my update for the end of October. So let's talk a little bit about what's coming up for the month of October. Um, so I finished the Peter Person tribute build um, today as a matter of fact which is the 30th October 30th uh, finished the Peter person tribute build you'll have to wait for the final reveal uh, video of that because I've still got to post the rest of my uh, build videos so uh, keep an eye peeled I'm trying to post one per um, every weekend and uh, we're almost there we're almost done so um, once I do that then I'm going to touch base with everybody that's involved and see about um, making arrangements to get everybody to send me photos of their completed kits uh, for the tribute build by the end of December so I can post it up early in January. Um, next, what am I working on next? Well, you'll have to hold on a minute. Because um, I'll tell you after I show you uh, the paints I got. Uh, I've already posted a video on it. Um, and that is the uh, Mission Models paints. These are the two I got. Primer and paint. Red Oxide Primer. Dunkel Gelb paint hmm I wonder what I'm gonna work on next um, I monkeyed around with a little bit on some spare parts and uh, here it is spare parts um, I gotta say that uh, so far I'm impressed uh, you know me and um, acrylic paints I just water-based acrylics. I don't do well with those for airbrushing. Um, but yet I'm trying another one. I'll get more into that later, some other point. Uh, which brings me to my next point, as I'm going to be doing a video uh, just on my thoughts about the paints that I've tried. Not all paints, because I haven't tried all of them by any means, but I'm going to talk about the ones that I've tried already, uh, like Vallejo and Ammo by MIG. Um, testers, uh, model master, acrylics, um, did I say Vallejo, Vallejo, um, whatever, I'm just going to talk about the paints that I've tried, give my thoughts about them, uh, talk about the things I like and dislike about uh, certain paints because there is no perfect paint line. Uh, there's some really good things about different paints, but none of them are perfect uh, so far, and I'm going to explain my thoughts on that and why I decided to try yet another uh, water-based acrylic. So what's the next kit I'm gonna build? Well it's gonna be this one. Yes I'm finally gonna get started on the uh, TACOM um, King Tiger with Porsche turret and I know it's not a Porsche turret, but that's what most people know it by. That's what it says on the box. That's what I'm going to call it. Okay, so all you purists out there, um, I know both the turrets were made by the same company, I guess. Uh, Krupp, I think. Both the Henschel and the Porsche uh, turrets um, to different specifications, whatever. It doesn't matter. People know it as a Porsche turret, so that's what I'm going to call it. Okay, so forgive me. Uh, but I'm going to start on that kit, hence the Colors of the Mission Models products that I got. I want to try those two before I commit to buying more. And I figured those two would be best because a lot of the initial stages of the build are um, in primer. Um, in hindsight, I probably should have got uh, the Creme Vice. I think that's the color that they use for the interior on uh, the upper portions of the King Tigers and I guess some of the other German vehicles as well but I didn't I got the uh, um, Dunkelgelb but I'll be able to tell from the primer alone I think um, what I think 
of the paint. As a matter of fact, what I'll do is as I go along, I'll probably prime the, uh, uh, the bottom part of the hole, and then I'll go ahead and spray the um, Dunkel Gelb to get a feel for the primer and the uh, paint. And then from there, I can order the other colors that I want. Um, so I'll be doing that. So that kit I'm going to be starting here in the next couple of days because I have nothing else on the bench right now. So I want to get rolling on that one. Um, that's the one that uh, um, Patrick Schaefer sent me. Um, again, thanks, Patrick. I'm looking forward to starting this thing, and now I'm finally going to do it. I sent him a, a message and told him I was going to get started on it, and he seemed pretty stoked. So... Uh, I'm going to get cracking on it. Now, this is not going to be a follow-along build by any means because there is just so much involved in building this kit. I've been watching one on YouTube uh, just to get a feel, a lay, uh, get the lay of the land, so to speak. And this poor guy, it's just, there's a lot of work. And it's it would be a ton of videos, especially the way I do it. So... I'll just, you know, touch base once in a while. I'll probably be working on that uh, during my first um, flap jaw session that I had mentioned in earlier videos where I'll just be working on a kit real time. I'm not really talking about the kit much unless I come across something, but just talking modeling in general, just shooting the breeze um, and uh, build a model. You know, kind of like some people do live streams like Jim Deck shutter ace um uh i'll put a link in my comment section down below so you can check out his channel and you can see what i'm talking about he does a live stream every week and he basically works on a kit talks about modeling and stuff like that sometimes it's pretty you know focused on a given subject sometimes he just talks about different things and that's kind of what i'm going to do uh, but mine won't be a live stream, not yet anyway. Um, and there's others that do it too. Uh, Matt Hill does one every week. Well, not every week, but uh, um, every once in a while. And I'll put a link to his channel as well down below. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'll just be, you know, dropping in on that one every once in a while. I want to do some more tutor want to do some more tutorial type things talk about the products I use and stuff like that I haven't done that as much as I've wanted and you know I'm going to try and start working it in um, if you noticed when I was saying I was going to do links I was focused on my desk that's something else I want to improve on with my videos is uh, when I say I'm going to put a link or something in the comment section I want to make sure I do it because uh, there's been a few times when I've said I'm going to do it and because one reason or another um, like, you know, if I'm doing a series of videos, I forget which ones I said I was going to put a link. And I don't like watching my videos over again after the first time. So, um, I'm making notes for a given video. That way I can make sure that I put the links in there like I say I'm going to. Because I think it's kind of helpful sometimes for people to see other stuff. Um, I, you're going to be seeing more in the future of this airbrush which is my uh, Neo for Iwata TRN1. Um, it's a three, it's a 0.35 uh, nozzle and needle. And I've discovered that it, it's becoming more and more useful. And I really like that airbrush. It does a really good job. And I'll talk about that as I use it. Um, make comments about it, you know, drink some of my flap jaw stuff, I guess. Um, for bigger colors, you might be seeing more of this, which is my Pash AH uh, single action. That's good for blowing uh, primer um, and single colors. So yeah, that's uh, that's kind of what's coming up. Another thing you might notice um, starting with uh, my next video is I'm changing up my um, camera angle again. Uh, the having my camera mounted to the right of me it's okay for some things but i discovered especially when i was painting um that i was blocking when i was painting because i'm right-handed you know my hand is between the camera and the item getting sprayed so i'm going to switch it back to the left side and to like the center 
uh, mainly the center. I'm going to have it up a little bit higher so when I'm working on something it'll be farther away but if I need to show some detail I hit the buy two button on my uh, on my um, iPhone and it'll pop it down. I've got my um, my uh, worktop kind of laid out in a way that uh, um, I can kind of stay focused and stay in in frame a little bit better so that will help um what else what else what else uh, I made a few upgrades to the bench I uh, added um, another quick connect to my um, co2 bottle so I have two airbrushes hooked up now so I don't have to switch out the hose uh, because I can do I can switch between this one and my uh, Iwata HPM2 I can switch between those pretty quick because think I have a quick connector and it just goes to both of them so that's no big deal um, however when I switch between uh, those and my Pache H single action I have to change the fitting I have to change the whole hose which means I have to detach the hose via the quick um, release fitting at the quick release on the bottle and then I have to switch it back it's not really that big a deal but it's kind of out of reach and so I thought, hey I'll just put a T on there T off I've got two quick uh, quick necks so now I can have both airbrushes that I plan on using for a given kit um, on hand so essentially I have three airbrushes uh, available to me because uh, the Pasha H is plugged in. I don't have to unplug it. And these two here, all I got to do is just hit the quick release at the airbrush itself. I'm good to go. So there's a little improvement. I also got a uh, finally got an airbrush holder. Um, it's a two two brush holder, and it looks like. Oh, yeah, it looks like this one right here. That one right there, except it's not orange on top, it's black. But uh, I've been wanting to get one for a while. It clamped over on the, I've got it clamped on the left-hand corner of my desk here. And uh, it works great. It's really handy. It's out of the way. It's not in the way, and my airbrushes are right there. Instead of having to lay them on a the tabletop, I've got them laying right here. I can fill them full of paint, whatever i got to do. So that's kind of cool. That's another improvement I've made. Um, let's see what else I think that's it um, if you haven't yet you know keep an eye on my uh, uh, Airfix the Peter person tribute build videos I'm releasing every week um, that's been a really good kit I really enjoyed it um, I would definitely do a new tool Airfix kit again um, I do my research to make sure but um, it was a really good kit. Didn't have any problems with it really. Um, all the paint worked out okay. It was just overall a good experience. So yeah, I think that's it. Not much of an update this month, but uh, you know, busy kind of busy time of year. Got a couple of grandkids hanging out and been having fun with them. So that takes up a little bit more time. But I'll get cracking on this King Tiger here in this uh, next few days and. I'll do a, an intro video on that, so keep an eye peeled for that. And I'll talk about what my plan is for it, because I do have a specific plan for this kit. Talk about uh, some of the stuff I'm going to use on it, and all that kind of thing. So, that being said, that's it. That's all I've got. Also, so in case nobody saw in my last video, somebody had asked at some point, if I kick the kitty cat out no nope, he's sleeping he just I haven't done any shots over my shoulder like this in a while there he is curl up on the bed sawing logs that's good old Loki our big boy cat he's a good cat I like him but he's still here and he doesn't get on my bench that's what I really like about him so anyway that's it that's plastic models for a regular dude update for October and what's coming up in November so 
As always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, hints, tips, or otherwise, please put them in the comments section down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So, that's it for now. Thanks for joining me here, and I will see you all later.